My friends uh, and I have this thing, we call it the abomination theory. It's this theory we figured out that in this world there's you, and then there's people who look like you but better, <laughs> and then there's people who look like you but a bit worse, and we call them your abomination, right? Everyone is one, everyone has one, it's quite beautiful. But what we do is every time we see each other's abomination is we'll give each other a call. I got a call from my friend the other day, he said, I just saw your abomination, worst one yet. She was really sweaty and she was carrying two plastic bags full of chicken, just kind of running along the street. <laughs> and I said, what, was that like an hour ago? <laughs> oh, you're a clever crowd, it was me, yeah, yeah. I have got some beautiful friends. I've got a friend, she's very beautiful, she's a model. I'm always asking her about it. And the other day I was like, oh, what, what's the worst thing about being as beautiful as you are? And she said, the worst thing about being as beautiful as I am is that when guys break up with me, I know it's because of my personality. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that is tough, actually. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> I use my phone too much. I always like trying to figure out ways to get off my phone. There's this new thing people are doing. A lot of people are downgrading from their smartphones back to old flip phones. My friend did this. She came over going out to a restaurant. She said, look, I've got a flip phone again. It's amazing. You know, I'm, I'm not going through my emails. I'm not scrolling Instagram, comparing my life to other people's. I just feel so in the moment. I was like, oh, cool. I guess I'm getting the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> You've really just sort of outsourced your anxiety to me there, haven't you? Fucking. It's annoying being online. It does make me very anxious. There's always people fighting. There's always people on one side of the argument, you know, or the other. And it's like, you're probably both wrong. You can be wrong on either side of an argument. You know, for example, a guy who's anti-breastfeeding in public, bad guy, right? But a guy who's really, really pro-breastfeeding in public, <laughs> also a bad guy. <laughs> Just really wants to free the nipple. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm a male feminist. Get your tits out. <laughs> I know there's a lot of nice male feminists, but there's a lot of uh, annoying ones. I feel like a lot of male feminists are like that animal that we tried to introduce to eradicate pests. Um, and they've become more annoying than the original pest. Um, single at the moment. It's hard to be single. You can't, I have no, I'm not naturally confident. I've got a tramp stamp that says don't leave. Um, I also. <laughs> I also don't know what to do sexually. I, I don't know, I'm boring. I guess for me, there's like four basic sex positions. It's like guy on top, girl on top, guy from behind, pissing each other's mouths, but then what? <laughs> I don't know, do you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So I, and I, also, I don't want you to think I'm sex positive either. I'm actually quite sex negative. <laughs> it was the girl, the girl the other day, she had a bag saying, eat pussy, it's organic. I was like, okay, I'm having eggs benedict. <laughs> But that's cool that she's empowered. I thought that was great. You know, she's like sexually in charge. But fuck, if the roles are reversed and that was a guy being like, suck dick, it's paleo, you'd have to call the cops. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's like, I'm ashamed by saying, it's to the point if I see a pregnant woman walking around, I'm like, oh, you're just admitting it. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you guys. Happy Becky Lucas. <laughs>